I'm Dr. Paul. This is part two of my do nothing treatment and I again on the last video explaining that sometimes it feels like I'm doing nothing and they oftentimes don't understand why I'm not treating the local area of pain. Well I do but remember I said that that's the end of the problem many times at least 50% of the time. The first part of the problem or the beginning of the problem is somewhere else usually from some kind of lack of motion collagenous bands were just basically areas of tightness on the body from old injury okay it could be scar tissue from surgery sites from accidents etc and even someone with that has had a cesarean is injuring not only there's their you know their abdomen from the surgery scar from cesarean surgery and it's also the um, can cause injuries because of the for the baby as well which we'll explain in another video so what is um, th th this time I want to address why I treat the hands and feet oftentimes. The hands and feet are, are, are critical exit and entry points. And the way I look at it is like this. Remember those lines of energy? They're basically going out, uh, down, up and down the body and all the way to the tips of the fingers and to the tips of the toes. And why are those critical points? Well, um, liken it to somebody that's giving and taking. Our, our whole existence is really about giving and receiving, right? If you don't give and receive, you start to die. If you don't have relationships where you give and receive, you start to die because you have no love. But if you don't have love for the environment and you don't interact with the environment, now this is where it gets kind of weird, you can actually interact with the environment through grounding. Okay, so what does that mean? Here's a site again. Um, all the references are right up here. Um, the effects of grounding or earthing on inflammation, immunity, wound healing, prevention and treatment of chronic inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. They have found that when you do grounding, sorry for the pictures, um, it can have a profound effect on the body. Okay, And so when they ground, how do you ground? And why is it that I end up treating this area, okay? The hands and the feet. There it is right here. They concluded, accumulating experiences and research on earthing or grounding point to the emergence of a simple, natural, accessible health strategy against chronic inflammation, warranting the serious attention of clinicians and research. This living matrix, which is tensegrity matrix system, my technique in the prior video, matrix repatterning used to be called tensegrity. And it appears to serve as one of our primary antioxidant defense systems. Basically, antioxidant is fighting anti aging. You know, rust is caused by oxidants from the air that attack the metal, causing rust. Oxidants from the environment into our body causes rust to our body, causing early aging. The battery. Uh, that's required to our we have batteries and we recharge you know how we recharge by earthing and grounding now uh, you can do that by just walking on the ground and touching your bare feet to um, to the earth touching a tree walking in the sand sand barefoot those recharges our batteries why because the electrons from the soil which is all electronic by the way because the soil is has all these minerals and minerals are like electrolytes calcium magnesium strontium all the different uh, uh, electrolytes that we eat in our food that soil goes into our food which is why we get that electricity from good solid food that has you know, preferably organically grown but even if you just had inorganically inorganically grown vegetables just make sure you clean them but it has all the nutrients in it even though it may be less but now you're, you're taking from the environment by touching the soil and eating the soil because the vegetables have all the nutrients. That's why you want to eat as close as you can to unprocessed so that those original nutrients stay and they go into the body to do what? Healing. So the hands and feet are where you touch. Now you, you can touch the whole body but the hands and feet are, are like uh, circuit boards okay just like the brain is there's they're like micro energy uh computers the brain is one of them the hands and feet are another one the centers of the body back and front are another one and that's why i focus on those areas first when someone comes in because i want to make sure that those are not scarred up 
and I treat it so that we can get movement of energy. That's why exercise is important because we're moving the body. But sometimes when the body doesn't heal it on its own, even if you exercise, they come to me and I find out, okay, where else is it coming from that you're not able to do with exercise or you're not able to do with even proper eating. That's when they come and get my help. I'm Dr. Paul. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.